Integration by imagination. The word imagination is doing quite a lot of work here because it's acting as an adjective because we're going to have to be very imaginative for this to work. It's acting as a noun because we're going to be using imaginary and complex numbers. And it's also acting as a verb because we're going to be imagining up some integrals, um, whatever that means. Integration aficionados will know how to integrate this. You do integration by smarts, obviously. If you're feeling a bit fun about it, you'll do integration by madness. Um, but now we're going to do this with some integration by imagination. What we're going to do is we're going to say that this integral is the same as the integral of this, as long as you only think about the imaginary part. So this integral here is an integral of this and then plus i this. But as long as I'm only thinking about the imaginary part, which is just e to the 2x sine x, then it's the same as this original integral there. So cool. Now, why on earth would I do that? Well, cos x plus i sine x is just e to the i x based on Euler's bad boy equation. So that's all good to go. We can, of course, now, if we've got two e's down here, we can add the exponents and we get this here. And this is incredibly easy to integrate. It's of the form e to the kx. So the integral is just 1 over k e to the kx. And we've done the integral, right? All that, lefts, all that leaves to be remained here is if we can write this thing back in the form a plus bi, it's a complex number, right? So if we can just write it in the form a plus bi, we'll just take the b bit. We'll just take the imaginary bit and we'll be done. So let's do that. Let's rationalize or realize, I should say this. So 1 over 2i times by 2 minus i, 2 minus i, and you end up with this. Of course, it's 4 cross times cancel minus i squared, which is plus 1. And then we can just de-separate this e to the 2 plus i x uh, back, uh, kind of doing this, but backwards. We can write it like this. Of course, I can take out a fifth here and take out e to the 2 x, and I'll put 2 minus i in brackets, and then I'll rewrite e to the i x, just doing every step backwards, essentially, now, now that we've integrated. going to rewrite e to the i x as cos x plus i sine x. If I expand out these brackets, I'll get 2 cos x and so on. I'll get all this, and I only care about the imaginary part because that was the only bit that my integral actually had here. So the imaginary part of this is, of course, 1 fifth e to the 2x uh, minus, uh, into, I guess, minus cos x plus 2 sine x, or, sine, or 2 sine x minus cos x. And that there, as long as we remember the minus c, will be our integral. Really nice little method. Um, obviously, super, super quick and, 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 and easy. So we'll do it again. Uh, e to the 4x times cos 3x, we will integrate this by imagination, except this time, we're not actually going to be using the imaginary part of this. We're going to write this as e to the 4x cos 3x plus i sine x, but we'll actually be thinking about the real part, because the real part here is the only part that we've got. So we'll think about the real part this time. This, of course, here is e to the 3x, sorry, e to the i 3ix. As the exponents, uh, this is, of course, super easy to integrate. It's 1 over 4 plus 3i into this. And now we've done the integral, we're going to do every step backwards again until we arrive uh, back to where we started. So realize this denominator times by 4 minus 3i, 4 minus 3i. Uh, decouple these two things to make e to the 4x times e to the 3x again. Uh, 1 over 20 right over the front times e to the 4x, and then brackets 4 minus 3i into, put this back into cos 3x plus i sine 3x. And now, of course, I'm just going to be quite lazy about this. I know I'm just looking for the real part. So that's obviously going to be this, and then 4 times cos 3x, that'll be one part. And the other real part will come through having minus 3i squared, which is plus 3 sine 3x. And that there, with the minus c, will be my integral. Really lovely method. Um, feel free to try it on these five. You, you might need some other tricks, but you can do all of these with some imagination.